Hello everyone, my name is Heather and this is my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be telling you about the website iNaturalist. Now iNaturalist is both a site as well as an app and this is a site for what you would call citizen science. If you're not familiar with citizen science, citizen science is where they turn us folks who are out in the field, those of us who are in classrooms, teachers, librarians, students, they help us become scientists to help professionals who are actually in the labs, who are researchers, because we're all out, out in the world doing our thing, and we can actually help professional scientists do their thing. And so that's what iNaturalist is all about. Now, how this works, uh, this is a joint initiative between the California Academy of Sciences and National Geographic. And this is a chance to, as I said, help scientists with their projects, but also to see what people are doing. So you can contribute to science, you can record observations, you can share with fellow naturalists, you can discuss your findings, but you can also see what folks are doing. So you can keep track of nature. You can crowdsource identifications of all different types of nature and observations and creatures and insects and animals and all different types of uh, nature, nature and naturalist findings that are out there. You can learn about nature. You can help create useful data. You can become a citizen science and help with a project that, that interests you. Or if you're a teacher or a librarian, you can put together a, with your class a project that, that interests you or you can aid in. And then you can also find, uh, you can hold an event where people find as many different species as possible. This works on all your different devices. And if you go to the upper left-hand corner, you can explore um, all across the world what people are finding, different observations, species, identifiers, and all the different observers who are looking. You can see all across the world all these dark dots, what everybody is looking for and what they're finding. You can go to the community and you can see all the different projects that people are working on. Things like California Mammals, Los Angeles River Watershed, uh, the Pillar Parade, all different types of things. I mean, there's many more than this. This is just, you can browse all of the projects. These are just the featured ones. You can also look at journal posts as well as the forum. And then you can also go to the guides, the site stats, video tutorials, as well as teacher guides. There's all different types of materials for both teachers, librarians, students, all different types of projects, as well as all different types of challenges, days, and information throughout the year. The site is always growing. It's always changing. So if you're really keen on learning about nature, what's in nature, how to help save our world, take care of our world, this is an excellent site to be involved in, and it's all free. So check it out. If you enjoy what you see, subscribe to my channel and I'll have more videos for you soon. Thanks so much.